What's up guys, Hyland here and welcome back to another game hacking video and in this one we'll be searching for pointers in the process. So we're going to use the pointer scanner from a cheat engine to find the static pointers which always point to the address or to the value we want. And for this example I'm going to be using a program I made, it's basically an anti-cheat, uh, well kind of an anti-cheat, if you change something then it shows that it has detected a cheat. Uh, in this video we're going to use it for a different pers uh, purpose, the anti-cheat anti purpose is going to come up next probably. Uh, in this one we are going to find the static pointer we can always uh, use to find the address we want and then change the value or read it. So what you need for this is cheat engine and your program, probably game or something. In this one I'm gonna be using this. So as you can see stuff changes every few seconds and that's what I made to this. So I changed something so we can easily find the values in the game you would for example hit yourself or shoot like I've been already showing. And this one is pretty much for faster finding uh, address in more complex games. Uh, obviously this is not complex, right? It still gets like 32,000 uh, 32, results in a scan, but it's really less complex. But I just want to show you the way how to find something in a complex game. So let's search for 55, which is my health. And it's always, oh, I need to attach the process first, which is uh, always decre decreasing by one. So now it's 53, next scan, so we have it here. And I'm gonna, going to um, choose one of these, and the reason why there is two is one is the comparison, uh, comparison value, so I can detect it. So let's say I change this one. It's going to say, okay, well, I need to change it to something greater than this. It's going to cha uh, say cheat detected, obviously, because they're not synced uh, anymore. So, I'm going to change it back here, so it stops, okay, that one went, so it stops spamming uh, that the cheat is detected. Okay, so we want to find the pointer, and obviously, I don't know, I'm not using, uh, I'm not even using directly pointers, so it it's not my intention to use pointers in the program. It's a C-sharp program, by the way. So obviously, you know, I can't just say, like, in C++, I want to use a pointer here and stuff. So, yeah, we can still find it, and this is really awesome, I think. What we need for this is we need a pointer scan for this address. OK, just hit OK. Make a folder, uh, which is just for this, because you could get a lot of files and I'm going to replace this one. So it's going to find uh, a ton of results and you, as you can see this <laughs> is just a yeah it's just a lowest program but it also got this much six million I think I'm really tired to read this number six million over six million results for my pointer right. And what I want to do because not all of these are going to be showing to what we want once I restart the, the program, but we will loop the process I'm going to do in just a second to find what we need. So you can already see there's, uh, oh, okay, they they don't update like that. Yeah, that will be really resource eating. So we just restart it and imagine this to be a game you restarted. Keep everything the same. So as you can see, many of this uh, of these disappeared. Obviously, the this, uh, easiest one too, or maybe it's not the easiest one, I don't know. Uh, but this one stood the same, yeah, that happens. But it, we don't care because we want to find the pointer, so we just search for... Um, and if you didn't see what I did there, I'd set um, pointer scanner rescan memory for the same. In my case, do it for your case. You can replace it or create a new one. If you do something wrong, it's good to have the old one the list and now we're left with a 1 million or almost 2 million and it sounds like it's really still really much and it is but it's really good that we're left with 
um, less than the half of what we had before because we can repeat this process until we're left with just a little amount of well it's not going to be little but a smaller amount and we can see this one is wrong now we need to find uh, the new one and I hope I'm explaining it explaining it good enough so you can understand I haven't done the video in a while so I'm not talking English much in the past time so yeah we're looking for the BC one right here or that's what I do I don't think it matters you can also uh, look for a value you don't have to look for a an address so if you're looking for health or something you can just look for health because if it points to the same address it's point uh, it gets you the same uh, value so copy this value or your value and put it here for rescan so we're once again using the same list to rescan and now we're left with uh, uh, well at least uh, it's a lot less you see and now we start again attach yes keep the list or you don't have to keep it but I keep it because it's faster to press enter next scan there we go there is it S scan rescan rescan we are left with 33,000 and this is a number we can work with I can do one more time to see maybe something changes the last time I did this nothing changed after it got me stuck with that so I know that not much is going to change and I still got it uh, right so remove these by the way so it's not as messy okay there we go so yeah it's about this number maybe I don't think I need to do it one more time and what you can see here is that we have a lot of multi multi-level pointers and I don't think they're really nice I think they're really really ugly because it's just it's complicated it's good to have one which just has one offset so I'm going to click on offset 4 and it's going to show me the ones that don't have any of these first so I know for a fact which uh, of these work I don't know if in this case every uh, all of these work but I can tell that this one is kind of more far away than this one so this one is the lowest from Fred stack 1 this is minus uh, 300 and I'm going to be using this one in my case because it's the closest to Fred stack 1 and we obviously have we have Fred stack 0 also so maybe this one is good too but I'm going to go with this one and now you can see what I mean by multi-level pointer so we go 81st and then we get the point another pointer then we go uh, 448 and then we go another pointer and 